Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a basic model of office table in Autodesk Inventor software. For this we are going to construct it in Autodesk Inventor Weldment. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to file, take a new, take a new assembly in millimeter, standard assembly. Now for from here go to create. It will ask you the name of the file. This is the frame which we will construct and the location where you want to save it. I want to save it like here. I have predefined the folder. I made a folder. Okay. So office table one and save. Okay. Now it will ask uh, just simply uh, left click to activate the uh, model. Now from here go to 3D sketch. Select the home and take the line command. From line command. We want to make the uh, plane, uh, top plane first. We want to make the top. I will hit this. Okay, we want to construct this first. So, rotate it. Top. Okay, take the line command. Take the top plane will be this center plane. Select this. From here we will start. As you can see the dimension is in inches. So escape. First change the uh, dimension unit. Go to document setting. Go to units. From here change it to millimeter. And ok. Now go back to sketching. and finish again go to 3d sketch ok now take the line now it is showing in millimeter now make a line of 2500 millimeter and from here from this end point just drag it downwards and make a line of 1500 Similarly, don't exit the command and rotate it and make a 2500 and last join this. Right click and exit the command. Now as you can see this is not a constraint sketch. It will move. So to control that movement, go to constraints and go to fix. Fix this first line in this second this will not now get fixed and it will not move in any direction ok now we want to make the these legs so go to line command once again it will ask you the plane we will select this plane and go to front now select this point and we will give a height of 1000 meter millimeter exit similarly select the line once again select this plane and go to this point follow the uh, green color line and give the dimension 1000 ok similarly make other two legs also go to line command select this plane rotate it select this point follow the green line and 1000 mm exit again line command select this plane 
this point and follow the green line 1000 millimeter okay okay now we will make this center portion and this support for this go to top plane rotate it take the line command select this as starting point and take a distance of 1000 and construct a line intersecting this okay similarly select go to line and make line of 1000 millimeter and make a line over here and join it is not properly aligned so we will take once again select this top plane to make the line switch to this take the line command it will ask you the plane select this plane the center one select this point and follow this ok now to fix it go to fix select this this and this is fix now rotate this view take the edge now we are going to uh, construct this support ok now go to line command select this plane front plane select the starting point from here and give the dimension to 50m exit now take the line command once again select this edge now select this plane once again take the starting point and along the red line join this this is distorting not perfect so make it once again take the line along the red line and give the dimension 2500 ok now rotate it ok one second go to back view similarly take the line command starting point give the dimension to 50 mm and from here give the dimension 2500 and ok now fix these two go to fix this and this ok now finish sketch you have constructed all the sketch now go to return it will come back to the assembly and treat it as a part frame now we will construct the frame for frame go to design go to insert frame it will ask you the type of pipe or the structure you want to make we will take the ISO standard and the family ISO 10799 rectangular the dimension will be 15 to 30 and 4 thickness we will take the stainless steel or 450C in grade so now we will start we will first make this in center So this is center 
and move it cancel insert frame the frame building is the main of this video select this okay the alignment is main with respect to the given lines we can move it from here at center and rotate it 90 degree okay and apply okay now similarly select the other portions and okay these are completely aligned with this you can match it from here okay okay now exit this by applying and okay now go to uh, this legs go to top plane <coughs> move it inside okay <coughs> so <coughs> and apply similarly now it will follow the same <coughs> structure we have which we have applied over here select the other three legs one two three go to top plane you can check the alignment from here okay this is coming out this is also coming out shift it inside this inside and deselect this and apply it. now we will select this and move it inside and apply Now we will make the these support profiles. Select this profile, move this plane, and go to this back plane, which will give the front view. And over here, apply. Similarly, select this, apply. Now select this support. Rotate them and move it inside. Okay, apply. Similarly, select this support, select this face to see the alignment, move it inside and apply. Okay, the basic structure is made now. You can now hide this, go to frame, right click and deselect the visibility go to view change the view style to shade it with edges now as you can see this is not properly matching from each other the pipes are not welded properly go to design go to meter command select this pipe and this 
and go to ok now it is making the proper v shape similarly do with others automator select this pipe select this pipe and ok rotate the view go to meter again like this and this ok rotate view go to meter select like this and this and ok similar now as this profile is complete the upper one now you can see the this pipe is getting inserted in the above all the pipes so to remove this go to trim oblique extend select these all four pipes and select the face till you want to extend trim we will select this bottom face now ok now you can see these are trimmed till this face and ok <coughs> now the pipes are till this face Similarly, do it for these pipes. Go to trim and extend. Select these two. And the face till you want to trim. Select this face. Apply. Now, do it other side also. Select these pipes once again. Select this face. And OK. ok now do it for the bottom profile also trim select these two the face will be this apply select both once again rotate the view select the face at this face and ok ok this profile is complete now now we will make the table top so we, this is the old one and switch on this table top we will make this the wooden work go back to the model go to assembly once again go to create take it as table top and save it it will ask you where you want to construct select this top face it is getting active go to select this right click and go to open it will open the window separately to construct go to 2d sketch select the top plane rotate it go to rectangle command select the two point center rectangle select the center point ok now unit is in inches once again go to tool go to dimension setting unit and take it as millimeter and ok now go to dimension the dimension will be 2750 and this will be 750 
1750 and finish sketch now go to extrude command extrude it up to 25 mm okay now select this corner it will ask you if you want to create fillet or chamfer we will select the fillet give the dimension of 75 radius select all the four corners rotate it and this last corner and ok now do nothing just go to the appearance go to at the end at the end you will find the white as java it will look alike wood and save it now go back to the main assembly now we will assemble the table top with the frame go to constraint rotate the view select the bottom face and top face of the frame and apply now go to side face this side face flip the direction and move it outer side give minus 125 and apply similarly select this side face and side face of the frame and give the dimension minus 125 and apply now it's fully constrained you can see from the bottom this is bottom view okay rotate it this is the view for this shadow go to office table for this shadow go to view go to shadow and active the shadow and active the reflection it will show the bottom reflection of the table i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you